Hey everybody, I'm Amy from Body Fit by Amy and this is your no repeat dumbbell power workout. This is day 16 of your power challenge. This is also a great workout that you can do at any time. We're gonna work your entire body for strength, cardio, and power using your dumbbells all in a no repeat format. Of course, I'm gonna give you lots of options to work to your fitness level. Are you ready? Let's do it. Let's start just by getting our bodies warm. You can go ahead and march, jog, whatever you need to do to get the blood flowing. Shake it out all the way through. Try to leave everything from your day, from your week, from your month, whatever it is, at the door. You are here with me and we are moving our bodies today. So try not to be thinking about anything else right now. Let's just get in the zone. Roll those shoulders, start small and then make them a little bit bigger to the back. Really think about range of motion, because we're all pretty tight through those shoulders, and then take them back to the front, right through here. Whew. Taking it here, let's go one at a time, plant those feet to the back three times, nice and big, and then same arm to the front, right through there. Other side to the back three times. So we are working with power today, but we're gonna be mixing in pure strength as well. Let's do some little knee hugs. So pull those knees in, opening up, and then open those arms up wide. So gentle knee tug. You can reach underneath or you can reach out in front. So we will have some power moves. Some of them will be compound moves, but no crazy combinations today. Some things will be right and left, but they are all no repeat right through here. Let's take it out, side lunge, step through. Side lunge, step through. So we'll have some more power-based moves and then we'll mix in some more strength-based moves. Keep that heart rate up so we're getting that metabolic conditioning as well. Right through here, plant those feet, just shift your weight side to side, right through here. Reach and reach. And all of it, I will give you different options. Let's take it flat back down, flat down, and round it up. So of course, work to your level. You know I always say it. I want you to be where you are today. So if you're a beginner, hold those hands right here, roll those shoulders. If you are just getting back into it, if you're just not feeling high energy today, keep the option that works for you. There's no shame in taking a different option. All that matters is that you're here, that you showed up today. Let's take it right here, big arms up and a nice big V. Then sit low in that squat. Take those hands down, extend it up through the legs, drop it down, reach it up back in that V, all the way up or Y, whichever. Down in the squat, hands down, reach it up, take it down, all the way up. Let's go two more just like that. Really get that hinge. If you can't get your hands all the way to the ground, that's okay. Take them on the top of the legs. One more. Sit low, take it up, take it down. Hang out here if you can. Little shift side to side to open up the hips. And then extend up, let's pedal those feet. And if you can, I want you to walk it back. One leg and then the other into that high plank. Hold it here if you can, drop to the knees if you need to. Take one big step, big reach, back through. And here, if you need to stay on the knees, knees, reach. So warming up the core, either from the knees or from that high plank. And also stretching with that world's greatest stretch. Good hip opener. And back one more. Yes. Go ahead and walk your hands back or walk your feet in, whatever feels good for you. Round it up right here. All right, so we're jumping in, guess what? We got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest, three quick circuits, really just two and a half, no repeat. We are getting it done in a no repeat format. Some power, some pure strength, all of it is gonna bring the burn and get those muscles working. Side to side right through here. All right, so go ahead and grab one heavy to medium dumbbell. A lot of what we're doing, especially that right and left, we're gonna get right side, then left side. 
So pick something heavy to medium. You can always take it lighter if you need it or heavier and you can always take a body weight. Watch me here. We're gonna do a transverse lunge. So you're stepping out on the diagonal, it's a side lunge. I like to bring that heel up. If that feels weird to you, take it to a regular side lunge. This dumbbell is racked. We're going transverse lunge, up, power, press. You can also take it two hands right through here. Pick what you're doing, same side. Here we go. Transverse, get low, power it up with the press. So here's where your power is. Remember, power does not have to mean that you're jumping or that you're swinging or that you're going fast. What I want you to do with this is get low, sit back into that hip, power through. Again, if that feels weird to you, take it side lunge, power up or two hands, power up, elbows in. 10 seconds, drop into that hip, either way, side lunge or transverse, and drive out of it. Five seconds, power up, yes you can. Last one, and breathe, shake it out. We're gonna do the same thing, other side. Should've felt that heart rate get up, right? Now we're taking it, same thing, other side. Rack it here, again, you can step to the side lunge, you can take it transverse, power up with one or two. Here we go. 40 seconds, get low. Power up. This handout might help. Maybe that gives you a little bit of extra balance. You can keep that foot in the front flat or you can come up on that heel to get a little lower. Do you feel that? You're getting that stretch on that inner thigh and then you're shifting your weight into that hip, getting the power as you come back. Halfway there, how's that heart rate? I know I feel it. Woo! What do we love about no repeat? Once we're done with it, we're done with it. And it goes fast, right? And breathe, 10 seconds. Remember, you can always take it two dumbbells. Last one right here. And up. We are taking it to a reciprocating row. So I'm gonna go a little heavier as my 15s. It's your regular hinge, but watch me. One comes up, one goes down reciprocating. Nice flat back, come up in between if you need to, but we're gonna hinge it here, here we go. Left and right, left and right. So think of it as a pulley, right? So as one pulls, one drops. Really good helping with form, keeping those shoulders and those hips square, still squeeze in the back, still pull towards those hip bones, shoulder blades in, elbows up, but alternating, right? Not even alternating, reciprocating. You got about 15 seconds. If you're feeling your back, come out of that hinge, come right back down into it. And again, keeping everything square. Breathe. We got three, two, one, and relax. One medium dumbbell. We're gonna get a little upper body and core, a little power. So I want you to think big circle, right? Circle, side knee, circle down. So close to your body, side knee, and here. If you wanna go out a little further, you can all on one side. Here we go. So circle, side knee, and down. Side knee, and down. I really want you to think about what your arms are doing, right? They're nice and tight. That movement is gonna get the core. Then we got the power with that side knee. It's not just here, like we often do. Circle, 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 pull it in. Stationary leg, slightly bent, keep it going. Circle knee, and down. So lots of arms. Remember you can keep it close to your body or take it a little bigger circle. Up to you, last one, and breathe. Give those arms a little breather. Catch your breath, do you feel that power? Same thing, other side. So remember, circle with the arms, pull that side knee in. It's not just this, but it's not huge either. Keep that core in tight, here we go. Circle, side knee, circle and knee. And breathe, and up. We're still coming in like a little side crunch, right? So we want that oblique to be working, but the stabilization is in the center and those arms circling, working all through your upper body. Take it around and back. Starts to feel like too much, just take a body weight. That works too, totally fine. 
right through here. And down. Take it up. And down. Whoo. Breathe. Last one. And relax. All right. Remember that reciprocating row? What if we take it with a curl? We're gonna go hammer curl, one up, one down, here to here, here to here. So again, think of it as a pulley, using your core to stabilize, feet nice and flat, core zipped up. Here we go, one up, one down, and here. It's control. Even though we're going one at a time, what we're not doing, shh, shh, right? Like we sometimes see guys at the gym lifting too heavy, Control, hand up, hand up, one up, one down. Extend all the way down by your side. You're not stopping it short right here. You're coming up to the shoulders, one, and then the other. Feel the difference, right? It's almost tougher this way because you're working against the weight as you move through, right? They cross each other in the center. Three, two, one. Last move of this circuit, well, we got two, but our swing we're putting in the middle. We're coming to a plank. Now, if you need to stay on your knees, stay on your knees. We're gonna take our elbows right through here. Watch me, we got 20 seconds each side. We're gonna reach it under, reach it up, reach it under. The difference, we often do this from the high plank, we're taking it from the low plank. So you can have your arms here or here, reach under, little mini twist. We got 20 each side. Bring it here, knees are fine too. Here we go. Reach and up, reach and up. So you're not twisting your hips too much like you might do from that high plank, but you're going under and up. If you need those knees, no shame in modifying. Take it here. We got three, two, one. Stretch it back for 10. Same thing, other side. So reach under, reach up. So it's a little plank reach through, but we're going from the elbow plank. Knees or toes, bring it in, three, two, one. Reach and reach. Take it here, take it here. Feel how you have to stabilize because you're all on one side. That's why you might need that knee. You can also just hold a plank. If that's a better option for you, try to keep those hips square, even throughout that twist. Five, four, Three, two, and one. Stretch it back. We're closing out this circuit, before we get a longer breather, with a skier swing, right? So, we got two dumbbells down the side. Think of it as a skier, right? Skiing, right here, power it up. Let it drop, power it up. I often give that as a dumbbell option when we do a kettlebell swing. Today, I want you to keep it with the dumbbells. So maybe start lighter, you can go heavier the next time. We won't repeat it, but we'll give it a variation on it. So, watch me one time. You can just do the deadlift, if that's a better option for you, or you're skiing, power it up with the glutes, let it drop. All right, join me here, core engaged. We got 30 seconds only. Hinge it here, prep it three, two, one. Ski or swing, let it drop. Remember, you have all these options. You can go lighter, you can take it, to just your deadlift, right through here, zip up that core, but make sure you're getting the power from the glutes. It's back loaded, just like our kettlebell swing. Drop the chest, hinge it, power it up. I always feel this in a different way. We got three, two, one. Swing it and relax. Woo! Pedal those feet, ha! Shake it out, team. All right, get those weights out of the way. Grab a quick sip of water. On to circuit two. So one long circuit, but no repeat. I know it moved quickly, but it went by fast, right? Quick sip of water, right here with me. All right, team. So next round will look somewhat similar, where we have some power moves, some compound moves, but nothing too crazy. Then we have some back to basics, but we're gonna keep with that reciprocating. We'll get press, we'll get tricep kickback. Your first move, I want you to try to go something heavy. It's one dumbbell, watch me here. You're gonna hinge it here, kickstand deadlift. You can either do a bicep curl into a squat, then back down, or a kickstand, clean, and squat. Totally up to you. 
you do you push into that front foot zip up that core kickstand curl and squat or kickstand clean and squat here we go so hinge power it up squat it down back to that kickstand you can make it more fluid if you feel comfortable with the clean or again take it down up curl squat right here you can do this with two dumbbells too but we're gonna get both sides so push through bring it up yes you can pure power cleaner curl than squat oh man I'm feeling it five four three two one catch your breath get set up for that other side Ooh. breathe into it all right we're taking it here same thing you got your kickstand remember you can curl it bicep curl step into that squat or take it with the clean here we go down breathe take it down breathe here down yes you can flat back power squat drive it up don't cheat it don't rush it each part is its own individual thing you can clean into the squat but make sure you come back into it 15 seconds especially slow as you get down in that kickstand right and up three two and one Woo. heavy weights down onto your back can we get that reciprocating chest press same idea one and then the other it's going to pull that core so i want you to stabilize flat on your back join me down here if you need to you can be up in that bridge if you want some extra glutes you can be up in that bridge or core up to here but we're alternating one at, at a time you got to keep it controlled so pull on that core for balance join me down here reciprocating press in three two one here we go up and up one and then the other i got my feet up in tabletop you can also be bridge up to here or just flat feel that pull in your core you got to really stabilize in the center one and then the other they're crossing in the center right about here is where you're stable then here to here keep it going yes you can Woo. 10 seconds ha three two one set those weights down stay down on your mat we're gonna take it to a version of a mountain climber if you need to take this standing you can but watch me here we're going one two three and hold one two three and hold standing one two three hold it with the core here we go 40 seconds in in hold you don't even have to run it you can just do tap tap hold tap tap hold the idea is on that hold lock it up don't hold your breath but pull everything in hips together ribs together little tilt of that pelvis three two hold ha ha yes tight core you got it team shh, shh, ha. 10 seconds to go three two drive the knees into the chest especially on that third one hold it in ha ha yes and breathe up onto your feet almost on the circuit two reciprocating tricep kickback you may want to go lighter if you don't have lighter I want you to just to go over your head if you're able I know I'm gonna have to go fives on this one but we're here one and then the other elbows are up feels like too much take them over your head right through here join me in three two one here we go one and the other one elbows stay up the entire time if that feels like too much stagger it here or drop a knee but try to keep it in that hinge position push push we got a lot of upper body push in these last few exercises 
but you can do it. Push. Ha! Yes! Breathe. Elbows out by now. Woo! 10 seconds. Remember, you can also take two dumbbells or one dumbbell over the head. If that's not right for you, maybe you have lighter weights. I get it. Five, four, three, two, one. Weights out of the way, team. Give yourself some space. Skater, my favorite. You want to get the power. You can take it no weight and just go skater twist, skater twist. If you want to be ambitious and try the weight, you just got to keep it close to your body and control. Side to side. Here we go. Power. Side. I'm keeping the weight close to my body, right? What I'm not doing is a big circle rainbow, right? We want to keep the weight close. Anytime we're adding movement and power, we got to make sure if we've got weight, we're keeping it controlled. Power, power. Remember, you can do the same thing, low impact. You can still get power and twist, power and twist. You do you, this is your workout. My heart rate is up too. I'm getting over a cold. Maybe that's you. Do what feels best for you. Maybe that's taking a body weight for five, four, three, two, breathe, pop. All right, team, last move right here. We're doing a high pull or a snatch. I'm gonna give you a second to breathe. So you know it. If you wanna add a lunge, you can. High pull from the ground, pull it up. If that's good for you and you wanna try the snatch, snatch. If you want to, you can add a reverse lunge, same side. Or you can snatch it, bring it down, reverse lunge, same side. We got 40 seconds. I'm gonna try to go heavy on this. Again, you do your best. If that lunge overhead isn't right, but you're good with the snatch, then rack it and then take it into the lunge. Or cut the lunge out, just do the snatch. We are so close. Let's do it. Same side, here we go. High pull, optional lunge or snatch, lunge, Woo! breathe, Hut. I'm gonna rack it, breathe, take it up, and down, we love a snatch, if you wanna just do the snatch, that works too, all the way down, take it up, it's the same side, lunge is optional, take it up, Woo! and breathe, Take it up. Ah. Last one. Relax. Oh man. This is the end of this circuit. We got another version of a skier swing coming. Hand off swing. Give yourself a second to catch the breath. Again, you have all those options. High pull. High pull and lunge. Snatch. Snatch and lunge up top. Or snatch and lunge with it racked. Breathe into it. Keep it moving if you can. Let's get it done. 40, high pull and lunge. Up to you. Or snatch. What we don't want is you to feel like you're leaning back. If that overhead lunge is creating that, then rack it. It's still gonna be challenging, right? Snatch. I know, I feel it too. Huh, maybe it's getting over my cold. Maybe it's, it's hard, because I'm working hard, right? Let's keep it moving. Either way, we are so close. High pull or snatch into that lunge. Three, two, one. All right, team, catch your breath. All right, one last little finisher on this circuit. Instead of your skier swing, because there's no repeat. We're gonna hand it off. Hand it off at the top. Hand it off at the top. If that doesn't feel comfortable for you, everybody's dumbbells are shaped a little bit differently, then you just take it, ski or swing, or one dumbbell in the center, right through here. All right, if you can hand it off, hand it off. <clears throat> if neither works for you, deadlift to modify. 30 seconds only, then we're into our last round, which is really a quick, half round. Let's get it done. Zip up that core. Hand off swing, skier, or one. Here we go. Up, hand it off. For a lot of people, the handoff is a little awkward. 
mean, it's awkward for me, but I'm comfortable doing it. So please don't force it. I don't want anybody dropping their dumbbells, right? Woo. Again, you can just do one in the center, or you can do that skier. Yes, you can. Keep it going. We got five, four, three, two, one. Shake it out. Woo. All right, team. Quick sip of water. We're almost there. All right. Let's get it done. Woo. Last round right through here. Starting strong. It's just a squat and a press. What I would love for you to do is one dumbbell. We're gonna squat low. When we press, I want you to press at a 45 degree angle, right? You're coming out in front of your body. It's gonna get shoulders, chest, triceps, and you have to stabilize in your core. If that doesn't feel good, just do a regular press. But we got squat and press. We got four moves in this last round. They're all gonna be burners, but you can do it. Hang with me. If you wanna take this body weight, if you wanna take your toes out, you do what's best for you. But let's finish this round, all right? Let's take 10 more seconds to breathe, because this one's gonna get us. But we can do it. Woo! Five, four, squat, 45 degree press. Here we go. Sit low, press at 45. Take it down, press it out. Yes, you can. Down and up. I hear my kids and my dog. I don't know if you guys can hear that over the music. Again, if you're better, toes out. You can always do a plie. Think of it as a goblet squat, but you're holding it here. Then when you press up, out in front of your body, towards the ceiling. Yes, you can. Woo. Strong power. Take it low and high. You don't have to go fast with it. Three, two, one, and relax. Breathe. All right, team, take it down. We're going to a plank row. If this is not right for you, I want you to stay on all fours. Alternate your row. If you can, row, opposite knee across. Row, opposite knee across. We got 40 seconds, hang with me. Knees work two, or just a standing row, one at a time. Three, two, one, here we go. Row, opposite knee. So we got right power row, left knee across. Left power row, right knee across. I want you to stay focused on not shifting back into your shoulders. Keep the shoulders right above the elbows, right above the wrist, cross that knee, little twist with it for your core. Forgot where I was. Row, knee, whoo, huh. Strong, yes you can. Take it up, and here. Three, two, one. Up on your feet. All right, medium dumbbells. We're gonna do a lunge and a triple curl. All right, so watch me here. You can go regular lunge. You can go curtsy lunge, it's up to you. But you're gonna lunge and hold. You're gonna curl three, two, one. Step out of the lunge, then switch your side. So you're trying to hold that lunge or that split squat down at the bottom, if that doesn't work for you, curl at the top. Here we go. Lunge low, curl three, slow and controlled. Two, here's your power, step it up strong. Back down, curl, three, power curls. Two, one, drive it up, yes. Get low, three, two, one, and up. Yes, you can, I want you to stay down there with it. Boom, ha, here we go. Down three, two, one. That's our time, but let's get one more. Three, two, one, and Oh man, down onto your back team, I know. This is our last move from here. With or without a weight, we're gonna go three, two, one with Three, two, one, hold with our bicycle. Think of the opposite of our mountain climber. Three, two, hold. Try to push the elbow into the knee if you can get it there, and then switch. 
If you wanna hold the weight, you can. I'm gonna take a body weight. Join me on the mat, tilt that pelvis, wrap that core and zip everything up, lift up on that pelvic floor. Support of the head if you need to modify, take it to the bridge. Here we go. Three, two, hold, push into it. Three, two, hold. Yes, you can. Boom. Three, two, hold. Push it in. Last one. And burn. Yes, you can. Whoo! Shake it out. All right, team. I promised you one last swing. Why don't we wrap it up into a bonus move? All right. I want you to go ski or swing, but I want you to go a little bit lighter. We are getting it all in. So ski or swing, we've done this before, maybe in a previous workout, but you're gonna swing for three. Then you're gonna curl it up or clean it up. We're gonna squat for three, then we're gonna press for three. All right, swing for three, squat for three, press for three. I want you to watch me one time. Ski or swing. We got three, two, clean or curl. Three, two, one, press it. Three, two, one. It's gonna be a burner, but we can do it. We got 60 seconds. Use the power, but don't rush it. This is it, team. Then we're cooling it down. Hinge it here. Here we go. Swing. Three, two, clean it. Get set. Three, don't rush them. Last one, all the way up. Three, two, one. Drop it down. Swing. Yes. Boom, take it up. Whew. Whew. Yes, you can, so close, at your own pace. If you wanna just pick just one of those or two of those, that's okay too. You do you, I know we're tired, but we're finishing this strong. Boom, can we get one more all the way through? Let's finish it out and rack. Don't rush it. Finish with those presses. Whatever you got. Three, two, boom. Ah. Whoo. Set it to the side. You guys, I'm feeling that. I wanted to give you, this is week four of power. I wanted to kick off this week with a bang. I think we did it. Catch your breath. That was hard. That was hard for me. If that was hard for you, remember it was hard because you are working hard. If it was easy, that's okay too. Maybe it's time to up those weights. Whew, sit back. Let's get a little hamstring. Maybe it was hard because you like me. Maybe you're covering from a cold or a virus. As long as your doctor says it's okay to exercise. Generally speaking, if things are above the neck, we call it the neck check. It's okay to work out, but of course, Check with your doctor about what's specific to you. Take it back here, other side. I know I feel a lot more energized and my sinuses feel more clear, but I had to slow it down a bit, right? There were some things that I had to take a little easier and that is okay. I was being where I am today. Let's take those knees out, stretch your shoulders right through here. Whoo, breathe into that. Hope you're feeling good, hope you're feeling strong because you are. Walk it in. Let's take it just like standing cat cow. Try to roll through hands on the legs. If you wanna put hands on a bench or a chair, couch, that works too. But really trying to get that lower lumbar spine that tends to get a little locked up. Slowly roll it up. Whew, to you right here. Make sure you check out everything in the description. If, <coughs> excuse me. If you haven't already, make sure that you're on my email list so you can get those free weekly and monthly workout calendars and your free snack guide, new and improved. And of course, make sure that you check us out on the Body Fit by Amy app. We would love to have you join us for 
the Body Fit Athletic Club. That is where you get that community support. You get weekly live streams and Q and A's with myself, with Vivian, our Body Fit Dietitian. You get recipes, you get the method nutrition plan and so much more. And it's all on our very own app. The app is free to download and there are some freebies for everybody, but we'd love to have you join us in the club as well. If you're looking for one-on-one -on -one coaching, fitness and nutrition, let me know as well. All the information is in your description. And of course, don't forget to like this video, leave me a comment and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Shake everything out. Please get some more stretching on your own. I keep it brief so we can get you in and out, but always good to get more flexibility and mobility work. Let's get one big deep breath in. Thank you so much for being here with me today. You did it. That was your no repeat dumbbell power workout. Great job, everybody.